This is Fantasy Esque and welcome back to Vampire Amazon with the Salazar Coven. When we left off in the previous episode, Lady Ursula Ronorain became pregnant and Freya started intense training for her wellness skill, which has been sitting here for a couple of hours I think and getting that level up. Hopefully she'll be able to access the fertility massage pretty soon, which I'm hoping we can use on the next pregnant lady. But besides that, we did have a few other things we got done around the castle, like Freya harvesting some plants and getting her stores started. We had Rose go look for frogs and I think experiment a little bit with some potions. Now in this episode, I wanted to send Rose if possible to the magic realm so that we can see if we can gather the last bit of ingredients we need to make the alluring aura potion for Melina. Or yeah, with Melina's help for the rest of the queen so that the queen can throw her potion party. But I think Rose is feeling a little bit sleepy, a little bit sleepy. Yes, she's gonna have to come back and rest up, but that's fine. We also have whims that the ladies want to get done, so we will be doing all of that in this episode. Right, without further ado, let's jump in and get started. So, Rose, my darling, you um, tried fishing, unfortunately did not find anything much. You know what, why don't we put these fish... She didn't get a frog, not the one we wanted. Um, where's the castle? Right, so I am going to put the fish, because they are relatively fresh, I'm going to put the fish in the larder, because it just makes sense. So fish in the larder, and then the other things we will pop, um, I think in their stores. So like over here, we probably won't want to put the cow plant berry, um, hmm, yeah, I don't think we want to put the cow plant berry out here in one of the shells where someone can access it easily, unless we do, is that something we want? You know what, she is gonna pop this cow plant berry, oh, uh, right over there, why not, she's just gonna pop it over there, and then we'll put down this heart frog, ooh, you know what, yeah, we'll put the hot frog on this shelf. So in the future, maybe when she finds another frog, we can breed it as well. But we know that I think Freya has her own store. Does she? Does she not? Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh well, Freya probably also will have frogs in her own private stores, but maybe they'll have different kinds of frogs. We shall have to see. But she's got parsley, and I think she needed frogs to go ahead and make the nimble mind potion. And she's too tired to experiment, so I'm going to send her off to bed. Which side does she sleep on? Okay, this is a bit irritating. I'm sure you guys have noticed that I have already assigned um, the sides previously for the beds. But for whatever reason, whenever I jump in gain, it hasn't saved. Which sucks. But that's fine. Now Rose is going to come up and go to sleep. Um, and then, let's see, who else can we work on? Melina, you're also feeling not too good. So go tend to yourself, and then probably go to sleep. How's Freya doing? Freya's still meditating. Oh, she's starting to feel a little bit thirsty. And so is the queen. So Melina, you cannot go to sleep, actually. Go use the bathroom, and then when you're done, is she going to use her own bathroom? Yeah, she is. Now, is Rose already up here? You might get embarrassed because of the half walls down. They don't like messing around with that. Is she back yet, or is she not back? She's not back yet, so maybe you can use the bathroom in peace before your daughter barges in. And then, even though you're very, very exhausted, your daughter is more exhausted than you. You're going to have to make... A trip downstairs 
and get some potions. You have one. You need another one. So let's grab the other potion. Can we grab this one? We'll grab that. And then we'll make our deliveries to the two royal vampires. And okay, Rose looks like she's heading back. She's very, very exhausted. I'm sorry, Rose. I didn't mean to keep you out for that long. In all honesty, it's not my fault their sleeping schedules are out of whack. With Melina, I can understand because everyone's practically calling her all the time. As soon as she goes to sleep, if a vampire is thirsty, they'll knock on her door by, by a servant and get her to deliver something to them. But okay. Where's Freya? Freya is currently busy. And the queen is training. Of course. Of course. Um, let's go make delivery to the queen. Let's... Deliver to the queen firstly, and then we'll go disturb Freya. Yeah, I don't think Freya. I don't think Melina wants to disturb Freya. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to do, but Freya will be waking up pretty soon. And you know what, guys? She's got a bad relationship, or she had a bad relationship with Morgana. So you know what? Maybe Morgana started. I think Morgana was the one who actually started all of this. Like, the three vampires who don't like Melina, I think the seeds were sown back with Morgana because Morgana started disliking Melina for whatever reason and acting very rudely towards her. And because she had such a good relationship with everyone and a close relationship with her uh, stepdaughters, she influenced the princesses, I think, into thinking this way about Melina. Oh, probably Athena. She probably influenced Athena very strongly. I mean, I think, yeah, even Freya was super close to Morgana, so. Uh, even as she died, she left a terrible legacy. Okay. Yep, never satisfied, obviously. Go and drink that. And you guys were saying um, that maybe the ladies have a negative reaction to Melita giving them potions because maybe they're having like withdrawal symptoms from not actually drinking blood from human beings. So I don't know, that could very well be a thing. Oh, oh, get a foot massage from the queen. Do you want to get your feet chopped off, Melina? Mm-mm, mm-mm. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? She's going to hold this against you pretty soon. See, if someone else does a massage for anyone else, then it's kind of, you know, something that a servant would do. But if a priestess does it, then it's considered not uh, like a lowly job. It's considered something that a health specialist does. So if Freya were to give someone a massage, then it's considered something she's doing as a health specialist. So if you want to get a massage, get it from Freya, not from anyone else. Although I don't know if she would agree. Okay, Freya's going to come out of her state of meditation so that Melina can deliver her potions and put Freya in a bit of a better mood. But okay, let's get it going. Yeah, these, these uh, hallways are very, very twisty and turny and windy. I will say that, I will say that. It does take a bit to get from one place to another, but I think it's fairly straightforward. It is fairly straightforward compared to what we've had previously. So it's good. It's good. Some things are easier to access than others. Oh, no, 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 Freya, don't go. We need to deliver stuff to you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. And then, Melina, you can go to sleep. I think you fed all the vampires. Says nobody needs your attention or is going to need your attention for a fair bit. So once she's had a drink, you can just go and sleep. And I think everything will be good. So let's drink this. She does have a lot of plasma packs, Freya. I think she drank something. Like, she probably drank a plasma pack or whatever. So she's just pretty good. She's good at her own stores. Okay, Melina. You, my darling, can go up to bed now, so let's send you to sleep. Um, we already have Rose napping away, so let's sleep. And then Freya wanted to work on her gardening skill. Now, is there anything that we can do over here? Yes, there is. We need to 
water all the plants and then we need to weed all the plants and I don't think we have any insectoid stuff I need to water everything here and we need to weed everything there as well I think because they're in two separate rooms she might not register that she needs to do all of those so I'm just gonna encourage that a tad bit look at this I like the fact that her little garden is quite useful it's got things that we need and we will use rather than just decorative plants and that makes me very happy okay I think honestly this is probably the most functional castle and generation <laughs> I've ever had in my opinion just in my opinion guys okay let's oh she does register the watering of all plants I see well why don't you go and just grab some yeah go and grab oh and then harvest once you weed make sure you harvest we have even more things together and then let's harvest it all there we go and she does have quite a good variety of flutterberries just look at the flutterberry she has and she's got more to harvest as well which is awesome so the queen has not been feeling lovelorn recently but basically whenever the queen feels lovelorn kind of think of it as a love drug you know whenever she feels lovelorn she'll go send to Lady Freya and Freya is gonna get a flutterberry and give it to the Queen to give her that little boost of romance so it's, it's twisted a little bit <laughs> but that's just the way Athena is. it's kind of like a medication so that she doesn't go like bat crazy because she's already so violent who knows what she's gonna do if she's feeling lovelorn and she wants attention you know she might she might just go crazy she might chop off Persephone's head because um, Persephone <laughs> has somehow gotten involved in Nymphadora and Nymphadora is the closest one to Athena I don't know things might happen if she's out of control so we have to try and help her out by making sure that Freya keeps giving her frequent doses of the Flutterberry whenever she starts feeling a little bit lovelorn have you wrapped up everything you needed to do did you yep she did so let's jump in here and put away the things that she gathered okay look at that she's got quite a bit of stuff um wait hold on hold on I guess we can continue popping some of these in here there we go and then we'll go and put some more apples 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 and then more apples back there and apples over there and museberries of course yes museberry back here and then we'll have a flutterberry there we go flutterberry flutterberry that's nice and what else now she has some emeralds and she's got I guess we can keep the emeralds but I, I think just having harvestables here is the best thing. She should probably give the familiar orb of the fairy to the alchemists. Hmm. That just makes sense, doesn't it, to give it to the alchemists. So we'll give that to the alchemists, even the broom. I don't know how the hell she got a bunch of these, but yeah. Let's give it to... But she wouldn't gift it to them, I think, because she doesn't really like them. Oh, Rose, you could gift it to Rose. That's right. Okay, Rose is feeling fairly good, so I'll wake her up. Rose, time to wake up. She's gonna use um, this. Take a bath. Let's take a bath with soaks. Let's take a rose petal bath. There we go, make her a bit floody. So she's gonna take a rose petal bath. So it seems as though if someone's sleeping, it doesn't bother them when they use the bathroom. It's just when someone's awake. I don't know. Or maybe the walls are built high enough that they don't get bothered. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. And then she's going to go take a bath. And when she's done, then she's going to eat. After all of that, since Freya has a negative relationship with Melina, I don't think she would gift Melina anything. But I do think this might be a good opportunity for us to help out her relationship 
with Rose. By gifting Rose all of the things that she has in her inventory that I think she got from the mail. So like, garlic braid. Ah, I don't know why she's keeping that. She'll gift the garlic braid, the wood broom, the emeralds. Maybe even sell the garlic braid. Yeah. Maybe sell the garlic braid. We'll sell the garlic braid. You know why? Because I feel as though Melina should make her own garlic braid. Yeah. That'll be cool. She'll make her own garlic braid. And I think what we'll say is that if she makes her own garlic braid and we like hang it in her room or something in her chambers, then whenever she goes to sleep, if someone's thirsty, they can't send a servant to wake her up because she's got a garlic braid. <laughs> That'll be pretty cool. But I'll definitely give these things because they're ingredients and then the orb to Rose. And I don't know if she'll use it just yet. Probably not. Now, what I was thinking about the orb of fairy was that I think in my Realm of Magic Let's Play, I had a little bit of cultural tradition attached to that. I think I said that... Um, what did I say? What did I say? I think I said that a spellcaster only binds a... Like a... Whatchamacallit? An orb or a familiar to themselves when they get married. I think that's what I said. Or they have two familiars. I think one when they turn into an adult and one when they get married, they bind another familiar to them. Now I want to work out a little bit of a tradition for the alchemists that we have. Um, I don't know how I would do this, but I definitely want to work something out. And I haven't worked it out just yet, so I don't want to give that. Like, I don't want any of the ladies to use it. And only spellcasters can use it. So there we go. And oh my goodness, how can you sit in front of this and eat this? That is nasty. What's the butler doing? Isn't she cleaning this up? I'll pop that away for you. But I'll, I'll try and have a think about it. If you guys have suggestions, you can let me know. But I, I want some sort of tradition to go into the whole familiar thing before... It ends up happening. But I hope the familiar cleans that up. Otherwise, I'm going to be thoroughly unimpressed. Okay, so she wanted to be mean to Ursula. We're not going to waste any time. You're probably not the wisest thing to do to a pregnant vampire. But that's what that's what she wants to do. So you know what? Let's do a rude introduction. Oh, she doesn't even know Ursula. How is that possible? You Both of you left together to go to... I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. You've lived in this castle for a while, when you were young. And plus, you went to Glimmerbrook, the Glimmerbrook Embassy, with Ursula. Are you telling me you guys did not speak the entire journey? I don't know. Maybe Ursula's giving her the cold shoulder from the beginning. Yeah. I was hoping not, but maybe that is the case. Okay, we're about to have our rude introduction. She doesn't even know Ursula and they already dislike each other so much. Makes sense. She's never really spoken to Ursula before. All she knows about Ursula is the interactions Ursula's having with Melina. Which isn't great. So, okay. She feels happy as can be now that she's gotten that done. Freya? Um. Oh, she's gonna go clean this up because the butler's not doing their job. Hmm. Okay, well... Yeah, the butler's just royally ignoring that, which is not cool, sir. It's not cool. But you guys were saying how maybe sitting over here by the fireplace is something that Rose likes to do to get her thoughts together and just think about things. And I like that. That seems so cute. I'm glad that she's actually using these spots that I built around the castle. Okay. Do we have anything else we need to do for the plants? Yes, we have some. A weeding we need to do and no watering but we do have some weeding and you know what we can research we can research so what I'm gonna do not take cutting but I think I'll get her what plant should I research on hmm I don't know if I want to research on parsley Maybe not. Yes, we know. Ursula's mean. 
Is she destroying her relationship with Rose even further? Probably. Am I surprised? Not really. Okay, I'll get her to research the Flutterberries. And then she can get her gardening skill up that way. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So she'll get her gardening skill up by weeding and then researching some of the Flutterberries. The queen has not been feeling love lawn, so she doesn't need to go ahead and um, get any berries. But she could also just have like a rose petal bath. Maybe that's going to be something the queen does, like be romantic all the time. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so she is going to work on this for a little bit, and we'll leave her to it. Meanwhile, the queen wants to go on a jog, so I think we will send the queen on a jog around the queendom. Get her to patrol a little bit and see what she does. Yeah, she doesn't even have a good relationship with the butler. And I think you guys kind of hit it on the mark. You said that she probably looks down on on um, mortals and stuff. Because, you know, she's a supernatural. From a long bloodline of supernaturals. So, obviously, she feels very superior with her blood. Probably also the influence she got from Morgana. You know, Morgana's own mother, Lady Amanda, actually, had a very strong sense of um, being a vampire and that the vampiric blood was superior. And she gave Morgana a hard time when Morgana's younger for not having vampiric genetics. Like, Morgana did not have vampiric eyes. She did not even have vampiric ears. She had the rounded human ears. So she had a tough time with her own mother. But then as she grew up, Especially after the death of her mother. Are you jogging inside the castle? Yep. <laughs> she went jogging inside the castle. I thought she was going to go around the queendom or something. You know what? I guess the castle is big enough for you to go jogging inside. That's completely fine. But, uh, yeah. I think as Morgana started growing up, then she kind of started having that sort of mindset as well. And then when she got married to the queen and had a stepdaughter's, I think she just reinforced those ideas and thoughts to the stepdaughters and- Oh, Ursula, you're in your second trimester, look at her. She's in her second trimester. How adorable is she? Aww. And you guys are saying that you hope her daughter looks exactly like her, just like how she looks exactly like her own mother and grandmother. Yes, the eye colors have actually changed down the generations, but in terms of skin color and in terms of facial features, like the eyes especially, the eyes and mouth, all the Ranarin ladies have looked the same. And if Ursula's daughter doesn't look like her, oh, it's going to be such a shame. Because I think we all love the fact that the Ranarin ladies look like this, and we love it. So... I really hope that this continues. I really, really hope this continues. So. Oh, oh, oh. What is she doing? Oh, okay. She's giving the queen a massage. That's good. See, look. Doesn't it look like this is something the queen should be getting? A massage? <laughs> I mean, Ursula. Really, this is something Freya should be doing, but... That's fine. You, you can give the queen a massage. I have no issues with it. However, is there anything you would like to do? I think she wants to go ahead. Oh. Have you finished your research? Um. Go research this then. And maybe even the Valerian stuff. Why does that keep saying campus do? Do we have campus stew here? No, we don't. Hold on a second. Why does it keep saying campus stew? I'm so confused. There is no campus stew there. Why is that? No, oh, I don't know. It's some glitch. It is a glitch. Okay. And then research this, if you want. Yeah. Go, go research your plants. Get your gardening skill up. What's a gardening skill at right now? It's pretty high. She should get to the next level fairly soon. And you are on your, yep, second trimester. Oh, she's really happy. <gasps> <laughs> Laughing at the lower class. She She's happy that she's rich. And, um, yeah, joyful means spiritedness. So she's really excited about that, which is, which is fine, I guess, which is fine. 
Okay, and you want to go do some dancing, so let's let's go do that. You can go relax in the ballroom. She's gonna go relax in the ballroom, do some dancing, enjoy herself. And look at her, she's being pregnant, a vampire, and cleaning all this up. Can someone get the butler to, to deal with this, please? Someone should get the butler to clean all this up. And Rose, why are you angry? Oh yeah, because your conversation with um, Ursula. That makes sense. Okay, why don't you help clean this up, actually? The butler is not doing their job. So why don't you help clean that up? I think that will be quite nice. And Ursula. Oh, there we go. She's dancing with the queen. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me really happy. And I love the queen's dress. Look at how badass her dress looks, especially with that back tattoo. Oh, it matches so well. It matches so well. And her hair. Ah, queenie. Ah, queenie. Um, some of you guys have been saying that Queen Athena is probably your favorite queen that we've ever had. And I think I agree. She is my favorite queen. Yeah, she's the meanest of them all, but I love her. She's my favorite, I think, out of all the queens we've had. I just love, like, she's muscle, she's strong, and she's vicious. Ah, amazing. Love it. Ah, and she's got this, like, dragon scale dress. Ah, beautiful. Truly. Okay. Yep, Ursula's just gonna party it out. Have fun dancing over here. And Freya has reached level 6 of the gardening skill, so she, I think, will be very happy with that. And Melina, you also wanted to dance, so... Oh, she's playing chess by herself because she doesn't want to go dance with the others. No, Melina, it's okay. It's okay. Go get changed. Get changed. And then go dance with the other ladies. Yeah, come here and dance. And Rose, you need to... Actually, can we go collect more frogs? I'm wondering. Um... Yes, we can. So let's go gather more frogs. Oh, and then when you come back. Yep, let's go. Let's go. We all know your mother probably doesn't want to make a trip all the way out there. Whereas you're young, you're fit, you can do it, you have energy. So you're going to go see if you can gather the frogs that you and your mother need. And then we can keep breeding frogs because you already have a set. Which is fine, because we never know what we'll need these frogs for. Oh yeah, I also wanted her to go to the magic realm, didn't I? Ugh, I forgot about that completely. You know what, we're gonna get her to grab these frogs, and then I'm gonna send her to the magic realm. Um, because we have money. And then she might get a few other ingredients as well. We'll see if she can find some other stuff. That maybe she can give to Freya and they can plant. And, ugh, so many things I'm forgetting. Freya also has to give her a bunch of the stuff that she has. And improve their relationship a little bit, doesn't she? So you know what? She's going to go, and from here, straight away, she's going to go to the Magic Realm. And we're going to see if we can find um, some ingredients. I think there's a something, a spotted hot frog. Wait, who needed that? Someone needed a spotted hot frog and someone needed a spotted leaf frog. Let me quickly check. So she needed a spotted dirt frog. And Melina needed a spotted hot frog. Nice. Okay, so all we have to do pretty much is wait for um, Freya's ingredients to be done. And then we can pretty much go ahead and start using these ingredients. Okay. Um, Rose, good job. I'm proud of you. I'm not going to use this little froggy frog frog off the bat. What I'm going to be doing, yeah, I'll leave that down there actually. Hmm. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, I want to leave these two frogs together. But what I'll do is that I'll breed these two frogs and then we'll only use the frogs with bread because I want to make sure we always have a supply. So I have a hot frog and a spotted hot frog and then we'll just continue breeding them. And hopefully we get the frog that we want. But Rose... Yeah, I wanted to send her to the flippin'... <clears throat> but I keep forgetting. I keep flippin' forgetting. We'll just send her back. I guess we'll have to do that in the next episode. And hopefully I don't forget. I got carried away with a bunch of other things. And I completely forgot that I have to send her to the magic realm. I mean, she already found the frog that she wanted. I was gonna send her there as a precaution in case she didn't find it. So I guess we don't have to go 
but she needed a spotted dud frog. Maybe we don't have to go. I guess we can just keep searching for frogs daily to um, see if we can hopefully get the one that we need. So that's completely fine, but Freya did have a bunch of things to give to you. And what's this? Oh, new poster? What? From what? Um, peeling off power boxes. That is weird. But okay, Freya, why don't you come and give her a bunch of things? Uh, you need to give her the emerald and just a bunch of gifts. And then you need to give her the orb of the fairy. I doubt she's going to use it just yet because like I said, I haven't worked out the little tradition that I want to associate with that or the custom. And then let's give her the wood broom. Also, another thing that I wanted to work on, which I did not get around to in this episode, is that I want to send the ladies to Castle Sheba so that they can pay their respects to Queen Narcissa. Because apart from Freya, nobody else has gone yet. I want all of them to go. But not only that, I do want uh, Freya to put up a like poster or image of the queen in the Hall of Portraits because that's something that we need done. I think Narcissa already has her own poster up there. Not entirely sure, I'll have to look into it, but we have taken an image of the queen in front of her throne in her formal attire and I do want a picture of Athena up there as well. So with that said and done guys, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.